as we come up on 10 seconds to shoot. Knocked away by Wilkins, regained by Bethea. Higgins on the drive, off the glass and in. 9-6, the Terriers have scored four straight. Picked it up, gives to Higgins with 15 to shoot. Roy Clark drives baseline, puts it up and in. Gets it in to Wade. Wade draws contact, no foul, but he knocks it home. And the Longwood lead back to three. And was able to draw the foul. Clark gets it into Cordelbaum. Terriers have under 15 seconds to shoot now. Harris from the elbow knocks it down, and the Terriers are back within one. Moreno slips out of a double team, leaves it for Wilcox. Tedrick, the rainbow, no good. 0 for 10 now from three. Higgins tries number 11, and that one finally falls. Terriers have six offensive rebounds out of their 14. Longwood's got seven offensive boards out of their 19 total. Wilkins answers. And a money manager for all the NIL till. Terriers with five to shoot. Moreno, the open three. Larry splashes it. Hello, Larry. Ten to shoot for Higgins. Robbie drops it off for Cy. Grisby spins. Out of a double team, drops it off for Larry, and Light Cheese lays it in. Whether it's on the perimeter, shooting or attacking, or for dribble to the basket. Shot clock winding down. Higgins with five on the move. Little teardrop, and he's able to hit from 10. Now here comes Longwood. They can take their biggest lead of the day with the made bucket. Wilkins hits the three. Four. 10 seconds on the shot clock for Higgins. Robbie around the Joe screen. Wilcox the wing three in for Ted. Trying to go one on two. Three point try, Longwood. That's good from Darden. Darden spotted up, then dribbled in. Couldn't finish the dipsy do, and here's Roy Clark for the Terriers. Higgins, the three. Yes, Robbie finally has his second of the day. Napper, under 10 to shoot. Up top, Wilkins as the shot clock winds down. Nine, they've been up as much as 11. That was earlier in the half. Wilcox driving, stops, pops, and hits at the line. Napper from the elbow, no good. Rebound, Quartobaum, and the Terriers can tie it here with a three. Down as many as 11 earlier in the half. Trey to tie it, he does. At the line, Napper from the elbow, no good. Rebound, Quartobaum, and the Terriers can tie it here with a three. Down as many as 11 earlier in the half. Trey to tie it, he does. It's a triple for Trey. That's triggered Trey, and we're knotted at 43. Well, you like the way the Terriers set that up, all the way from the rebound, taking it down court, playing under control. Trey Quartlebaum doing a great job this second half, giving the Terriers a lift. Wilkins, good ball fake on Harris, and he breaks the tie. Terriers have not led. 45 apiece, just over eight minutes left. Wilkins with that football body, spins and hits again. Comes out of the pack, one on three. Drops it off for Wade, who gets under Wilcox. Can't hit, rebound tapped up, Granlin got it. That is stolen back by Harris. Wilcox ahead for Robbie Higgins, who's got it tied again. He had a few blocks there in the first Three half. Three blocks in the first half. We haven't seen him in the second. Here's Clark to the hole, and Roy able to finish. For that matchup down low. Moreno, pass deflected, but it got to Higgins. Robbie trying to spot up for three. Can't shake the defender. Trey South to the lane, in! And he's got a chance at a conventional three-point play. Higgins around the Harris screen. Back 
for Moreno, 41 seconds left. Larry on the drive, drops it off for Joe, off the window and in, back to a two-point deficit. Buzzer sounds here at the arc on the campus of the Pratt Institute, and the visiting Longwood Lancers have their second-ever victory in as many meetings over the Terriers, 63-57. to 57.